Hey guys, Ashton here. So recently I asked um, in a poll here on YouTube and also on my Instagram stories if you guys would rather see a December plan with me or a December flip of my personal wide. And um, the majority voted flip of the personal wide, um, but it was close on my Instagram stories. Um, but anyways, so I wanted to do a flip of this, but I also want to um, talk a little bit about how I'm using this planner and compared to my other planners and then um, talk a little bit about 2019 and what I'm thinking for my setup and for my um, system for next year. So I I'm pretty sure I have things like figured out, but... I just thought I would kind of talk it through with you guys and see if you have any um, feedback, what you guys are using for next year and that kind of thing. So this might be sort of a long video, but hopefully you guys will enjoy that. <laughs> um, so this is my Foxy Fix personal sugar cookie. I did purchase this pre-loved and um, I did that because I just wanted to save some money and see if this is like the size for me. And it definitely, definitely is. I've been in this planner since August, um, in this size since August. So I actually have another um, personal wide um, Himalayan salt on the way to me for my personal planning. So I will show you that um, when I get it for sure. But um, this is my Christmas setup. It's super, super cute. It's all Christmas coffee themed. Um, you guys might know in my shop that I have a collection called Christmas Coffee. And this is some of the artwork. This is actually a free postcard that comes with orders um, if you order anything uh, Christmas themed. So um, I have that and you'll see some of that artwork throughout. These little stickers are actually what I'm using to mark down my countdown, which is um, starting tomorrow, but it's in my Annie Plans inserts. I thought those would be perfect for each um, each day, so I went ahead and put the first one down. And then I just have a little Starbucks envelope and a little Starbucks paper clip from Little Miss Daisy Rose. This is my um, vision board, Christmas coffee themed. I have a little popsicle from Studio Calico. Not sure if those are still available because I think I got it last year. And then you'll see some Christmas coffee paper. This is actually digital paper that you can print from my shop. So I print them on cardstock and on vellum, just kind of whatever I am feeling. This is actually a die cut um, sticker tag. So you could use it as a tag or as a sticker or just as a decorative die cut like I've done. And I just put a piece of ribbon on it um, just to make it a cute little tag that sticks out of my little pocket. Um, my setup is pretty much the same as my last setup video. I have self-care up at the front. So I have books that I'm reading. I do have my affirmations section in here. Um, this is actually from a Target catalog. <laughs> And then I have my tracking. I track like my Instagram. I track um, days my husband works. I track my Bible reading schedule and so on. Um, this is another vellum from my shop. I like to print, this is from Ink and Volt. I like to print out these like printables, freebie printables. Um, anytime I see one that I like, I just print it at I think 61% size and it's perfect for my personal wide. So I just like to do those, like if I have a moment where I'm just like flipping through my planner, it just kind of gives me something to do and um, something constructive. <laughs> so um, there's a piece of vellum. This little pocket is from Foxy and it's a little um, secretarial pocket, I think. These are from Organize with Katie. They're just little list paper. It was part of her Christmas bundle that I purchased in like July or something. <laughs> Another little Christmas coffee die cut and another postcard, um, but I actually just have some note paper back there. Vellum. This is my Christmas planning section, which I showed this, but I won't show you because I have all of my gift ideas and like purchases written down, but these printables have really cute note paper. Um, again, from Organize with Katie. Thought that was cute. So is the plaid. 
And then another piece of um, a Target catalog in my goals section. I'm gonna skip over my goals section just cause it's personal, but um, I do have my like moon cycle information and stuff. I'm still, um, still doing those um, from Soul Shine Astrology. And then this is another dashboard with just some die cuts from my shop. That one's from Studio Calico again. Picture of hubby and I. The little avocado is from Let's Make It Sparkle. I need to change it out because I actually have the December one as well. And then this is a little crazy, but these are from the Target catalog as well. <laughs> I just thought they were so cute. And so I just put them in my planner in a pocket and then the back looks like this. There's another one. And then I kind of just liked the back of the cutouts um, because it's like the hearth and hand stuff. Um, this I got at a meetup and I believe it's from Kate's Custom Creations or something like that. I'll link it below. Um, planning section. I took my 2018 inserts out um, and I'll show you why, but I um, went ahead and printed out my 2019 moon phase. This is from Lunar Abundance. These are from my shop, the vinyls, and I actually have them in a set of two. So they're great for these Annie Plans inserts. So you can put one on the front and one on the back. This is the rose color and then this is the orchid and I have several colors that you can choose from. So these inserts you probably have seen. Um, let me show you a blank one. It's a fold out monthly. So you can use this for anything, but I'm using it for purchasing. Um, basically, I'm. this is what I'm tracking. So it's basically spending. I don't track if I buy gas or groceries or things like that. I don't track bills at all because at least for me, that's all done um, online. So I don't need to put that in my planner. Like I don't, that wouldn't serve any purpose for me. But um, the only thing that I really want to track is spending, how much I'm spending on like myself, Christmas gifts, that type of stuff, um, tracking my online orders. And I want to track my dog purchases and how much I'm spending on my dog. Um, just cause I'm kind of curious because I don't really, I've never really kept track of that. I just kind of buy things as I need but I feel like maybe I could be a little bit more organized. Um, so what I did, I just covered up a few that I didn't um, wanna show, but I've been just writing like the date that I purchased each thing, um, writing the name of the store or whatever on the day, just so I can kind of see like, so if, if an online order, if I don't get it for a long time, like I, might, I placed a Foxy Fix order, I don't know, at this rate, it could be like two months, I don't know. So <laughs> I will probably wanna look back and go, when did I order that? And it'll be there. So the other thing I did is I wrote, have been writing down um, credit card purchases, debit card purchases. I also write down things that I sell, just kind of keeping track. And um, so, yes, yeah, so some of these are in person, like TJ Maxx, and some of these are, um, online. So I keep track of the credit card and debit card just so I could make sure that like the amounts are correct when they, um, come up on my statements. And then the other thing is, um, so there is some overlap because I do read the online orders here. Hopefully this makes sense and isn't super confusing. But what I do is I just put the name of the item. My husband ordered a drone for himself. So, um, I write that down I write the date that I purchased it and then I check it off when it ships. If there's like a considerable shipping time or whatever it's supposed to be, I write that down. So like for the Foxy Fix, 30 to 45 days, again, could be forever. So I like to just write that down. And then when it arrives, I highlight it. So I think this is really gonna help me keep track. And then like over the course of next year, I can look at these and see like how much, how often am I like buying things and where, and you know, maybe that way I can kind of cut down on my spending or, or like organize it better or figure out um, how to manage it better. Just because I, this is something that I don't really keep track of otherwise. So I think that's gonna be really helpful. 
Um, but I think these inserts are awesome and you can use them for anything, really. So again, more vellum from um, Organized with Katie. And then this one, um, I think I just printed the, the Christmas covers, but this is my daily section. And so they look like this. I've been slacking because I haven't really needed them because I've just been doing weekly, but I like to have these in here and I like to have different types. So I also have these. Um, so I just like to have the variety. And then this is a vellum from my shop, more card pocket holders. So these are actually the samplers that I give um, in orders. And then I have business cards too. And um, more digital paper from my shop. And then the last is my inbox section. And then, well, my, I have my projects behind that. But so the inbox section, I'm just using this paper from Annie Plans and Coffee Monsters Co. Um, that's what one of them looks like. The other one looks like this. So yeah, you can see this is my inbox. I just kind of throw like sticky notes back here and then just kind of whatever notes I need to make. I actually just threw some blank paper in here too. I just thought maybe I would want blank paper just because that kind of gives you the flexibility to do whatever you want. A little wedding photo. Um, that's old from Studio Calico as well. More vellum. Um, this is my project section. So um, it's kind of like home stuff. Like I have, I've had these pictures forever, um, but I just kind of like keeping them in here because I feel like if I want to add to it or print more out, this is where I would stick them. Um, I was kind of planning out my um, 2019 setup here, which I'm going to talk a little bit about. But that's the end of my project section. So that is the end of my planner. Um, I don't keep anything back here. So I have loved this planner and I'm just really excited to try something new and switch into my new personal wide planner that is coming. So I will definitely show you that um, as soon as I get it. So that is my personal planner. The other things that I have going are um, my work planner, which this is my happy planner that I'm using for work. So I had been in an A5 planner for several years. I had been using a um, original Filofax and this I just switched into and I just realized that this is going to work way better for me. Um, I have my happy planner inserts in here and this is just what I've been using for my main weekly planning and I absolutely love it. It's working super well and I can just put in anything that I need and I just love it. Um, this is the newest kit that I designed, Cozy. So it's just been working out really well. I don't know what to do with my monthlies though, I'll be honest. I put down watercolor and I put down these clear stickers that I made, but I just don't know. I'm not a monthly person, honestly. At the back of this planner, I have a ton of note paper, more blank paper. I just thought that would be a good idea. Um, I have paper from the Happy Planner. I have these little photo pockets. So I just love this and I think it's gonna work out really, really well. Um, I will probably show you this setup more in depth later, but I have all these little tabs, sticky notes. Um, I have dividers that I'm waiting on from Planner Press. So once those come in, I can kind of set this up a little better. Um, these are my current stickers that I use. I just keep them in this bando pocket. And what I do is every week, I just go into my stash and I pull out all the stickers that I want to use. And then throughout the week, I just stick to this and it just makes things a lot easier it's not overwhelming and I can just put it in here and it's no big deal. I don't have to like go through my millions of stickers and try to figure out what to use. They're just all right there. And um, so anyways, what I was going to say about this is 
I just love how this looks. It's a lot thinner than my A5 was. It's a lot bigger. There's more room to write. And I think that this looks really nice with the rose gold metal rings and the black cover. And then the black cover also makes this a lot more stable because the main thing, the main reason I didn't use a happy planner before was because I didn't like what the plastic covers, it's like constantly shifting. And if you were to drop it, I feel like the whole thing would come apart. Um, it just is so like shaky and unstable, but with this cover, it really reinforces it and makes it more like a, um, like a tool notebook or like a Martha Stewart disc bound notebook. And that just works a lot better for me. And it just looks more professional, I think. And I just love it. So I think this is going to work out really, really well for my business planning. So beyond that, um, I have my business planner. I have my personal planner. And then the other thing, this is not a planner, but I'm going to talk about it just because these are like the thing right now. Um, this is the Stology or Steology notebook, the B6. And um, I was inspired to start using this size after um, Sierra from SM Plans showed this. And um, I had tried the Stology before and I love this notebook. Like the paper is amazing. But I had tried the A5 size and I had tried the A6 size and, and neither of those sizes, A6 is too small, A6, A5 is too big and heavy. But this is totally perfect and you can see it's about the size of the personal wide and um, it's just like I, I really just like this paper size. So I'm not going to show the inside of this but the, the basics of it is it's a journal. It's where I like plan things out, um, brainstorm things. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of like whenever I need some paper and I need to, need to just like brainstorm or brain dump something, this is where it goes. So what I've realized for 2019 is I wanted to try something that would kind of either replace this or go with this that would be date specific. So it would have the calendar, the monthly calendar, as well as the weekly calendar. And then this is the mega, so it actually has a ton of note paper as well. Um, so the only thing that I've really done with this um, Hobonichi is I did a pen test. I did like pens, um, highlighters, brush pens, that's watercolor, and I watercolored over the top to see if it would bleed. So that's really all I've done, and then I've been planning the current week, which I won't show you. And I don't know if this is going to be shown very much, um, but the basic system is I think what I'm doing on the monthly is where I'll keep track of health related things um, because it's date specific. So the things that I was writing down and hear about what, like how I was feeling when, sometimes I would be thinking back and I'd be like, well, when was I last sick or when last did I have a sinus headache or, and I like looking through here and trying to find that is a little bit hard. So putting it on a monthly calendar, I think will be um, a lot more organized and I don't really have any need to track this stuff. I just kind of want to and I kind of feel like, um, I don't know, this is why I plan in general is because I feel like if these things are written down, like my anxiety is completely gone and I know that I have some place I can look if I want to try to remember things. So this is just all going to be about my personal um, health and like mental health as well because I'm going to show you. So the monthly I guess is more like for physical type things and then the weekly what I'm doing with this is more for like mindset type things. So this, if you can see this um, layout, it's got um, like a vertical or a horizontal section for each day, but then there's two little dots and you could actually draw a line down here so that each day would have three separate sections. I didn't draw the lines, but what I'm doing is I'll put a work related like memory or just one thing that happened that day and then I'll put one 
like personal or self-care thing and then one like home household or marriage related thing so it could be like um I worked on a new design and then I got my nails done and then um we went to dinner at such and such place or whatever and it's just kind of like a memory thing and like again I don't know just I I know you guys will understand because you're planner people but my anxiety is completely relieved when I know that things are written down. So it's like, this is stuff that I feel like if someone else read this, they wouldn't even, like it makes no sense. It's not pre-planning. It's just like sort of a journal, but not really because it's just one brief little line. But anyways, so then over here is a dot grid section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue with the horizontal section across the page. So like for Monday, in this little section, there's another line here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But in this tiny little section, I'm going to put down um, what I read that day. And I think this is going to be super helpful because one of my goals for next year is going to be to read more. Because I think in 2018, I've read like two books that I've completed. And I used to be a really big reader, so I'm hoping by writing down one thing that I read right here, I can kind of motivate myself to um, keep reading and record what I was reading too. And then finally, in the biggest section over here, I think this is where I'm going to do my affirmations. But I okay, so my phone cut me off. I don't know where I was, but <laughs> so I explained um, how I'm going to be using this, um, I think. I don't know if I explained it um, about the note pages, but basically I'm thinking with 213 pages, if I do like a half a page a day, there's enough room for me to journal a whole year. So I might do that, not totally sure, but um, I'm for sure doing the weekly and the monthly um, note taking, journaling, planning, whatever you wanna call it. But the reason I wanna do this um, is really because I feel like at the end of the year, I don't ever have like a concise journal or like something that's totally completed that shows like what I was thinking throughout the year, feeling. I mean, I always keep journals, but I feel like they're always something like this where it's messy and like I'm fine with that, but it's really hard to actually go back through here by date and find things and know like how I progressed through the year. So I'm really hoping that I will do this and stick with it. Um, and I ordered a Foxy Fix Perfect Fit cover for it just because they are going um, to be discontinuing those and I wanted to grab one in case I um, really do like it. And I think that I will. The other thing is that I feel like when I look back through here, through my planners, whether it's, you know, an Erin Condren or inserts um, in my ring planners or whatever I have, I feel like when I look back, like, I see my plans and what I did that day, and it's super helpful to look back and, you know, see the memories this way, but for me, like, this is work stuff. Like, my planner is really to help me get things done, um, and that's what it does, but to me, that doesn't necessarily tell me like, you know, here, what this was voting day. So like I put down my vote sticker and I put down the stamp. So like this tells me, and then there's like, it was a cloudy day. This tells me, you know, a lot about the day, but it doesn't tell me like, how did I feel? Who did I vote for? Like what, why is this important to me or whatever? And those are things that I want to remember years from now that aren't necessarily part of my planning, if that makes sense. But I think that they're going to be really helpful to have. Um, and I'm just so happy I came up with this idea because I love Hobonichi, but I just have not been able to use it as a planner. It just has not worked out for me um, in that capacity. So I'm thinking that um, this will be the perfect way um, to do that. So yeah, I, I'm still awaiting several things for um, my 2019 setup. Dividers for this planner, a cover for this planner, um, a new you know, binder cover for my personal wide. So when those things come in, I think I will do a 2019 setup and I think I'll like finalize anything that I may have been thinking about. But this is just kind of where I'm at right now. And I love to hear in the comments below 
um, if you got any ideas from this video or if you have figured out what 2019 planner or planners you're going to be using. Are you sticking with the same things for 2018 or are you switching it up? Um, because these two are new, but my personal wide I've been sticking with for since about August and um, my Stology as well. So I'm really impressed that I've actually stayed with these two for so long, but it's just been really, really working for me, which I'm really excited about. So that's kind of where my planning life is at the moment. Hope this was entertaining or interesting for you, and I really appreciate you watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye!